Hi, welcome to Wise Guys. This video is uh, on the division of polynomials and they are practice questions. Okay, so what you can do is pause the video, um, work through the question, and then restart the video and I will work through the question. Okay, so here we have 6x squared plus 23x plus 21 divided by 2x plus 3. So this is our dividend, this is our divisor. So here we go, the dividend goes under the little house. So 6x squared plus 23x plus 21. And this one is uh, in order of power. We need the 6x or the x squared to be first, the x to be the next one, and then this one, the constant, to be last. And we're dividing by 2x plus 3. So now what we do is we ask ourselves, what do we have to multiply by 2x to give us a 6x squared? And that would be 3x. So 3x times 2x is 6x squared, and then we take that 3x and multiply it by the 3, and that gives us plus 9x. Draw our line, and we are subtracting this entire piece. So 6x squared minus 6x squared is 0, and 23 minus 9x is plus 14 x. Now what we do is we ask ourselves what do we multiply by 2x to get 14x and that would be a plus 7. So plus 7 multiplied by 2x is 14x. Oh, I just forgot a step. This piece has to come down. So as soon as we do this subtraction, all right, we do the subtraction, what we need to do, and what I did not do, is bring down this plus 21. Okay? Then we can start the process. So, again, the 7 times the 2x is what gives us the 14x. So that's how we ended up with the 7. So 7 times 2x is 14x. Then we take the 7 and multiply it by the plus 3, and that gives us plus 21. Draw a line, bracket, and we're subtracting this entire piece. So essentially we have 14x minus 14x, which is 0, and 21, and of course we're subtracting this entire thing, so we're subtracting the 21. So this is 21 minus 21, which is 0. Another way of looking at it is that we have 14x plus 21, and we're subtracting the, exactly, the exact same thing. So that gives us 0. And that means we're finished. So the answer to this question, then, is 3x plus 7. And this piece is called the quotient. Okay. <clears throat> All right, so now again you can pause the video, try this question, and uh, restart it, and I will walk through the question. Okay, so we have uh, a division of 3xy plus 3x squared by x plus y. So we're dividing, and again the um, uh, Term with the highest power goes first, so that's our 3x squared, and then we have our 3xy. And we multiply, or sorry, we're, our divisor is x plus y. Now, again, first thing we do is we ask ourselves, what do we multiply by x to give us 3x squared? And that would be 3 x. 3x times x is 3x squared. 3x times y is, and it's a plus y, is a plus 
x, y. Now we are subtracting this entire piece and it is exactly the same as what we have up here. So 3x squared minus or plus 3xy minus this piece is going to give us 0. So this is a short and sweet question and our answer is 3x. It's always nice to have a question like that, right? Okay, last one. Pause the video, try the question, and then I'll work through the question. Okay, so our dividend, and again, this highest power goes first, x squared plus 7x plus 12. Our divisor, and has to be written with the x first, so we have x plus 4. We ask ourselves, what do we multiply by x to get x squared? That would be x. x times x is x squared. x times 4 is plus 4x. And only, of course, because this is a positive 4. Then we draw our line and brackets, and we are going to subtract this piece. x squared minus x squared is 0. 7 minus 4x is plus 3x. Then we bring down our 12, so we have plus 12. Now we ask ourselves, what do we multiply by x to get a plus 3x? And that would be a plus 3. 3 times x is 3x. And 3 times plus 4 is plus 12. Draw the line. Brackets. We're going to subtract this thing. Now we have 3x plus 12 minus 3x plus 12. This has to be 0. And that's the end of the question. So the answer to this question is x plus 3. That's supposed to be a 3. There we go. Okay, so that's been brought to you by Wise Guys. I hope you have a fabulous day.